Hip. It's a hot topic these days, and with all the hype, it is easy to find yourself in one of two camps. This crop is going to change agriculture, CB is a miracle product, and demand is going to take off. Or, it's a fad and there are too many risks. But reality is not so black and white, and the opportunities and risks should be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. While we can't cover everything in this short video, we want to give you just a few key points to keep in mind when thinking about these risks and opportunities. First, when we talk about hemp, we are really talking about three separate crops, fiber, grain, and CBD. Each of these hemp crops have their own unique set of opportunities and risks. Second, CBD is the main driver for hemp production growth and there are significant growth prospects. However, long-term CBD demand will heavily depend on studies being conducted by the FDA to determine the future legality, dosage, and validity of efficacy claims. Despite the widespread popularity of CBD, it technically is not legal in the food and beverage market. Not to be confused with hemp seed oil, which does not contain CBD or THC and is federally legal. Third, hemp for fiber, which is currently the lower returning of the three, has some often overlooked longer term growth opportunities, yet it faces significant processing constraints. Fourth, current economic returns for grain seed are more than fiber and less than CBD. And while its longer term prospects and risks are more stable than the other two, it may not have the same upside potential. And finally, USDA plans to release the regulations and guidance in the fall of 2019. There are a number of key topics industry is hoping will be addressed by USDA that could have significant implications on the future of the hemp industry. One such topic is the hopeful standardization of THC testing, which currently varies widely across states. This is important given the high production cost of CBD and the consequence of having to burn the crop if it tests over the 0.3% THC limit. Follow the link below to read our report and learn more about these and other issues facing the hemp industry.